Hi everybody, welcome back to High Top Living and today we're going to finish up a privy we've been working on the last day and a half. So we built a couple of subsets. We have our rear subset here which is seven foot six. We got 16 uh, inch centers and our studs are 24 inches apart. Now what we're working on this subset here is going to be the front. These are 12 inches on center. This will be the door and here's the top piece. Underneath we have the floor which we're going to work on today. So we will get that all going. I'll show you a little bit of video here and there. We did all these subsets first to save time. We're going to get started here. I got my father-in-law Bob who's going to give us a hand. Also I'll be giving you a material list. It'll be in the description below. A little bit more explanation on the front. We decided to use two by threes instead of two by fours because the two by fours were anywhere from six dollars and change to seven dollars to change and these two by threes were uh, about three dollars and change so it's half the price. It's not like we're building a house here. Another piece of this um, that we did was we went ahead and put in these blockings here. These are every foot on both sides to help with the structure of our front and we're cutting out the door here. So we got half inch plywood here. We went ahead and put the frame here and then we uh, already made our mark for our door and we're gonna cut this out with a jigsaw. My father-in-law right there, Bob. Hey, Bob. How you doing? <laughs> so what we've done is I wanted to show you the base, the floor of our privy and we uh, used three quarter inch plywood then we use two by fours and these are pressure treated because it's going to be on the ground. And uh, my father-in-law did this all by himself. I wasn't here when he did all this. So that's why it looks so good. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make a plunge cut with this. My father-in-law already made some marks here so you can see left and down, right and down for the doors. Because we're going to cut it a certain way and it won't be the same if you flip it around, turn it around, whatever. So we made sure we labeled it. Next jigsaw using a jigsaw just to finish up the corner so we'll do each one of those we went ahead and we put the glue on so we're going to glue and nail next we're going to go ahead and put on the panel and we already have it labeled so that we put it back on and it should all fit we did a dry fit first all right next what we're doing is we're marking this every foot for our nail so we're going to nail this every every one foot here on top we had already cut a piece for the top because this is actually eight foot so we have a uh, overhang of four inches here to fit the flooring on there so we had to make up the distance so we have a piece here all right let's get to uh let's get to nailing all right we're gonna watch the master craftsman here do his bidding with the uh, nail gun all right here we go Like he knew what he was doing. So we went ahead and we built the door. And you see we got the glue on here. We're going to get ready to nail it down. A little tidbit here is what we did. Both Bob and myself. He's actually the brains here. We built the frame. Put the door up here and put the frame down. We cut our cross braces here. These cross braces are for stability on the door. Put it all together. Put the plywood on the door. Got it all squared and ready. Then we cut these and when i say we cut them we put them on here underneath and we scribed it with a pencil and then i went over to my saw right here and put it at the angle we needed and i eyeballed it to get it at the angle that we need i didn't get exact degrees i'm not saying that's the best way but that way works if you have a different way and you want to put something in the comments below please do so we uh, finally got the door done. You need to make sure that you have a quarter inch on each side so you can open and close the door. I just got some extra stuff I repurposed. Got a handle, got my uh, hinges. We put a cleat on here for now. When we go to move this around, it doesn't have the door swing open and break it off. We got the two sides to build next. This will be the right side of the privy. Each one of the studs are 24 on center. We have our blocking in between each and we put those at two foot also for extra support. So that's where we're at today. We're not gonna do anything else because we need to go get more material. Once we get more material, then we're just going to match this again and cut them all the same. So it'll be the same on both the right and the left. 
then we'll glue and we'll put the plywood on and that will finish that we're gonna go ahead and keep on building tomorrow and we'll see how far we get okay morning everybody today we're going to mirror this subset so we'll have two walls a uh, little key here is to ensure that you put your plywood on the opposite side so this plywood would go on this side when we mirror this we'll then put the plywood on the opposite side so when you go to stand them up on both sides the plywood is on the outsides so that's what we're working on now we're going to go ahead and lay out all our two by threes and cut them and nail them and glue on our uh, plywood so that's next we're done with the subsections got them all done here so we're on to you can see one two three four we got four of these done these are the two right and left sides and then we have the door and then we have the back now we're working on the bottom so what we did was we drew out the seat this is going to be our back wall this is going to be six inches of the box it's going to be permanently attached it'll hinge up to uh all right over there. and then our box will hang out here right at this edge so you don't have your legs so you don't have your legs hanging out over over the edge where they're kicking out we'll make sure it's straight up and down right near the edge of the seat we'll get those marked out and then we'll cut ourselves uh, a hole and uh, build our box and move on all right so this is our bench for our toilet seat this is 42 by 20 as you can see we have our hole that's where the uh yeah that's where you go the privy the privy there it is that's where the privy is the toilet seat goes on top of here we'll have a hinge so you can lift it up and down so you can do whatever maintenance you need to do in the bottom but i wanted you to see the inside before we uh actually put it together so two by fours here and we used uh, pressure treated two by fours all the way around to help with contamination and all that so that's it so that's the next piece and then after that we'll take all the pieces take them to the property and put it together we have it we have our toilet seat as you can see we put the lid just enough to where you can sit and not get pinched very comfortable we're going to put this all together take it out to our property so we got a few things unloaded my father-in-law bob is working on putting in um, a frame piece that we need so we need to put in a piece back here so we don't fall through <laughs> we're gonna have four by fours on here as our sled so it is movable my dogs one dog two dog so this previ we're gonna have to dig a three by three by two foot hole we're gonna dig a hole right here We've got the hole dug which i'll show you in a second this is the bottom we got our two four by fours on here now come over here i'm gonna show you the hole and there's your hole so we're now we're going to attempt to take this monstrosity and take it over to the hole with the tractor and of course we want this right here to be over the hole. So we'll see if they, we can accomplish that. All right. platform is in we're going to uh, just make sure it's all leveled up nice next we'll move the trailer closer so we're going to take the sides and the back and the front move them over put them on here anchor them down get the roof on done uh, it's just after midday
going, you can see it's pretty sturdy. It isn't, it ain't going nowhere. Once we get the front, once we get the front on it, it'll tighten it up. So we nailed it, bolted it in. So uh, it's hurricane proof and tornado and monsoon and, and apocalypse proof. So not only is it a Revy, but it's also a shed if you need it to be. Here's the roof. I'll put the material list down in the description so you guys know where it is. Uh, we went ahead and framed out for the roof so we could put it on top of our Prevy. And it's 48 inches across with a 6 inch hang over on each side. Went ahead and used some screws with some rubber washers here so they run through. And we went ahead and put in the, uh, the screws. This piece here looks a little rough. But I, I bought this at like a third of the price. Um, I made a deal at Lowe's and they gave this to me because it's beat up and it's going on the roof. It's going on a Prevy. Who cares? And then I bought these two smaller pieces here so we could make sure that it all fits. Just a word of the wise. This is the front. That's the back. So as the water runs down, it runs down over and down off the backside. Hi, right, welcome back. This is, I think, day number six. Here's our Prevy. It's pretty much done. It rained last night. If you can see inside there, it's all dry. So it is weatherproof. Got the sides in, roofs on, side here. So now we're going to work on the inside. All right. So here is our actual commode. And you can see right down there, there's our hole. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide this up here and, and uh, make a mark so that we can box in for our vent, which our vent is going to go in on this side over here. So we're going to have to cut a hole and uh, put that on in. So that's next on the agenda. So we'll work on that next. All right. So we have cut the holes we'll for our vent. Rock. Okay. Just pull it out a little bit. We went ahead and cut our vent holes. We have a hole right there that's our vent hole so it'll go up and then it'll go into this which will be behind our box and then we're going to cut a hole there we got this really cool circle cutter that was bought at uh, harbor freight i'm not sponsored by harbor freight but that's where we bought that and then we also have a light here that we bought at harbor freight to help us be able to see so you can see that it works really really good it's even got a dimmer on it thanks bob for the dimmer then we're going to cut a hole right in there pipe will go up out 90 out that way and then over and on the other side on the back wall we'll come out somewhere in here that's next so what we're going to do go ahead and put the box in get it all set up and done put the pvc through then put another piece of pvc make a mark use our uh, circle cutter cut another hole and on and on we are back the previ we're going to fill in the side this thing needs to be painted i went ahead and put the uh, handle on the door Here's my great little lock. So I got a hasp on there. I'm going to put a lock on it. I put just a little bit of trim on here. I didn't know what to do on this side. I'm not a, I'm not a carpenter. But uh, if you want to go in the description and give me some ideas on what I can do to dress that up a little bit better, that'd be great. Put a little soffit on top. Coming around the back side over here. You see we went ahead and put another little soffit there. Got it all buttoned down, battened down. The roofing material that I used, it has baffles in it. Handle, door. I'll put a little hasp on here. You can see that uh, you can lock it from the inside, so when you need a little privacy. So I got my light. All right, so there it is. Toilet. We got our vent tube in. We got our backing on. I was going to put hinges on the back. Decided not to do that, but I have a little gap there. And uh, we can put a hinge on it, put a handle on it, and then you can lift it up and down as we need to. There you go. Hole. Done. Sit down, take a break. My dog's in here with me. Again, Mindy's always here. So you can see I put some uh, strapping down to help out with keeping the roof on. All right, next is paint. We're going to use dark brown paint. So we'll get her painted. The wife is going to want to dress it up. Candles and toilet paper and shelving and whatever. It's supposed to rain uh, tomorrow. I will uh, paint it on our next day that it's pretty fair out. And uh, we'll keep on getting it. All right, there we go.